In this video, I'll teach you how to enter lag time on a task dependency in calendar days and not in working days. If you watched my previous video on how to set task dependencies, you learned how to add lag time in working days to a task dependency relationship. But in this video, I'm going to show you a secret of how to enter lag time in calendar days and not in working days. So let's get started. In this very simple project, notice I've got only two tasks. We're going to order some hardware. And then when the hardware gets here, we're going to set up that hardware. Currently, I have these two tasks linked with a finish to start dependency. However, our historical records show that it typically takes our hardware vendor 20 days to ship our hardware once it has been ordered. So what I need to do is add 20 days of lag time. Now, here's one way that I like to add lag time. I'll actually put my mouse pointer anywhere in the link line between the two tasks Gantt bars. I always aim for the little arrowhead because that's the biggest part, thickest part of the Gantt bar. And then I'll double click. When I do that, Microsoft Project will automatically display the task dependency dialog. Now in the dialog, here's where I can go ahead and put in a lag of 20 days. When I click the OK button, there you can see this very big gap. And if I float my mouse pointer over the link line in the tooltip, I can see the lag is 20 days. But here's the problem. That lag time of 20 days is 20 work working days, Monday through Friday working days. But our hardware vendor works 24-7. What I need is 20 calendar days. So here's the trick to make that happen. In the predecessors column, I can actually click in that cell and see the secret code that Microsoft Project uses for that dependency, I can see the predecessor link information is 1FS for finish to start plus 20D. Now what I'm going to do is click in the cell to actually edit the value. And I'm going to change the D to ED. An ED is an E-day or elapsed day, meaning a 24-hour calendar day with no non-working time at all. Now, when I press the Enter key, I want you to watch the Gantt bar for the setup hardware task. Watch it move. Boom! Bingo, just like that, it snaps back. Now I can actually count up, here's six days, plus seven more, that's 13, plus seven more, there's 20 calendar days. That is how to enter lag time in calendar days and not in working days. Hey, thanks for watching my YouTube video. Now you know the secret of how to enter lag time on a task dependency in calendar days and not in working days. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and click that notifications button. And if you do have a question or comment, please drop it in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.